Let's talk about, you know, the ins and outs of film festivals here. Robert Redford, in his address, uh, opening address at Sundance this year, was quoted as saying, I think there are probably too many film festivals. <laughs> and when he was asked um, if he would have created Sundance given today's uh, environment, his answer was most definitely, probably not. I'd like to have you guys talk about your film festivals. Tell me uh, why you started them, um, what you think makes it unique. Well, sometimes I do think there are too many film festivals, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But to me, the emphasis is on quality film festivals. Mm -hmm. And what we try to achieve with the Northeast Film Festival is we, even though the name is Northeast, we decided for our first year to have it in New Jersey because it was both um, our directors, um, ho well, hometown for me since I'm from oh. South Africa. But, you know, we were in New Jersey for a few years. And um, we just figured New Jersey doesn't have that many great film festivals. There are some really good ones. There are some great ones. Um, Golden Door Film Festival being phenomenal. But we just wanted something that people look forward to come to where we have some excellent films playing. And that's a nice network opportuni to opportunity. And that's basically why we started it. In our case, we, we started a film festival because I know for a fact that I know, you know the statistics about without a box. And that's just one of the websites that filmmakers submit to, that they have 350,000 submissions. I mean, uh, filmmakers are registered, mm -hmm. and there's only a handful of film festivals out there. In fact, in our case, we only accept 50 to about 100 filmmakers, and we receive several hundreds. So that means our percentage of acceptance is really low, in spite of us being a new film festival. Mm -hmm. So um, there will be a lot of filmmakers that we'll be submitting every year. One thing I really wanted you guys to give the viewers, you know, let, to come out with some takeaways, some tips to filmmakers on uh, how they could help increase yes. uh, the, their, their, chances. their chances of their film getting into a festival. Don't forget that if you submit to a first tier, meaning like a Sundance or a Tribeca, they probably I think they receive twelve to 15,000 submissions. Easily. And you know for a Easily. fact that it's an intern opening it up for you. Exactly. It's someone who's probably not even a filmmaker. It's probably a volunteer who lives in L.A. if their office is in L.A. The programmer will receive that probably months and months and months until several interns have sifted through them. But luckily with us, with new f um, film festivals, it's usually the film festival directors and the programmers themselves that open the packages. Filmmakers should not neglect submitting it to new film festivals right. because we ourselves are the ones that look and select your films. Samara, research your film festivals. If you a newbie, your chance unless you're phenomenal, your chances of getting in the bigger film festivals is very very slim. Save that submission money and go to smaller film festivals and build up your reputation. You have local film festivals where your chances of being um, Accept it is bigger because you're a local filmmaker and they want you to bring the, the audience. That is a, is a good choice. And then, um, yeah, just be aware of the film festivals that are out there and, and target specifically. Otherwise, I mean, your, your entrance fees range between $30 and about $50. And you don't want to be throwing that money in the water where you could spend it on something more important. Luis, how about you? Don't forget that it might be your first. It might be just your second. So don't forget that your film should be within 10 minutes or less. Because short films are that's actually- for short. Yes, Th that's short, for short films are actually programmed either right in front of a feature or within a program of shorts that will be just amounting to mm -hmm. about one hour. So the more shorts we can put in as a programmer, we always think that we'd rather feature a lot of filmmakers within right. the program. I always look at the sound and the, the, um, the um, visual and the sound is very important to me. Marketability. I look at a filmmaker's marketability. Do you have an FB page? Do you have a Facebook page? Mm -hmm. Do you tweet a lot? Have you, um, do you even have a Facebook page of yourself, you as a filmmaker, your film, mm -hmm. or you have a website? If you had one key nugget for those filmmakers out there, what would, you, what would that be? If it's a 10 minute thing, your first two minutes should be very eye catching. So for feature <laughs> films, Features should be, um, if you want to be programmed and noticed, within the 70 to 90 minutes. Tamara. 
make a great film oh, yeah, where I don't yeah. want to switch it off, where when exactly. it ends, I wish that it was longer. And f make sure you, you cover all the elements. Make sure it's a great story, that it catches the, the viewer's attention. Have great characters. Make sure your sound and like all the technical yeah. stuff yeah. is in order. Mm -hmm. And if all if because yeah. that's how we score our films right. based on those things. Production and if values. you hit if you hit yeah. all of those, keep keep them coming. Yeah. <laughs> You've been watching a Herflix moment.